today we are talking with an Overwatch DPS legend. It's the one and only Tavik from Rogue, recently coming off a big win at the Atlantic Showdown. First of all, Tavik, congratulations on the win. How was the tournament for you? I mean, the tournament itself was pretty, it was, it was really good, really good. I, I really liked it and well, especially since we were, I guess you could say we were the underdog of everything, of any match. It felt even better winning, winning all of it. Tell me about your transition from Overwatch from Team Fortress 2. What was that like, and what did you have to learn, and what carried over from the previous game? What I had to like basically learn properly, which Team Fortress didn't have, was that uh, ultimates, like kind of like counting ultimates, or like learning how to use abilities effic efficiently. I mean, I played some Dota 2, you know, public games and uh, stuff like that, but it's. Well, I mean, it's kind of similar, you know, the basic idea behind the mechanics and everything like that is kind of similar, but it's, you know, it's still different. You know? It's an FPS game, so you look from the first, like, the first person view rather than the bird view, so it's it's a little bit different. I mean, I've, I think I, I period, um, picked it up pretty quickly and I, and I learned pretty quickly. What do you think separates you from other pro players in Overwatch? That's a really hard one to say because... I mean, without sounding like too um, too much of an ego, <laughs> I guess I can say that I like to rate myself like a, as a really smart player who makes really good, uh, really good and quick decisions in terms of where whatever I would use my abilities or if I would use my mechanics, uh, or mechanics being abilities that is, and um, just being able to understand, get, understand the game in a really depth strategical. Uh, type of view where it's you know coming up with uh, tactics for different maps, coming up with tactics for different metas and such. Let's talk about this squad. You started off the beta with IDDQD. You are now playing with Rogue. How did this team come together? How this team this team come together was that um, me and a guy called Mendo Kusai we decided that we would leave um, IDDQD and we would create our own squad for various reasons. And um, ba basically, we were, we were looking into the tons of different players, like what we could potentially get. And uh, we eventually settled in with um, getting uh, Brian Force, Wins, Anko, and AKM. And uh, basically just like rolled from there. And then uh, various things happened down the road, uh, you know, uh, kick, uh, getting people out and then getting the other people out that we thought would we thought that would be a better fit for the team, and well, uh, that's ba that's basically how it's uh, been been going. Competitive Overwatch is still in its infancy, but already we've seen a one hundred thousand dollar event at the Atlantic Showdown, and E League has announced their three hundred thousand dollar Invitational. Where do you want to see Overwatch go from this? I mean, I ho I just hope that it keeps keeps on growing. I mean, I honestly think the game. Overwatch itself has such a huge potential to be such a big game. Just like just basically just looking at the Atlantic Atlantic Showdown games that uh, was being played last weekend, where every single game was such a close and so intense watching. So it's like my friends who don't even play Overwatch, and it was like they don't understand anything what's going on, but they really like watching it because it's so intense. It's just like so much things that's going on all the time. I mean, they don't understand what's going on, but they don't really care because they really like really like watching it just because it was so intense. So I mean, in terms of like spectator, it's still like hard to follow and understand. But I mean, that's that's always just gonna be improved on over time. So I just, I just hope it just keeps on growing from this point. Uh, Tavik, thank you so much for your time today. If the fans out there watching this want to find more of your work, where can they watch you? If you want to find more of me, you can definitely check out my stream uh, and you know check out my Twitter. Yeah, with, uh, I do also have a YouTube. But I'm not that active on it, but I'm, you know I'm plan I'm planning on it. He's working on it, kids. We'll be back with more. Thanks so much for watching.